Hey, this is Thomas Brooks from lithophanemaker.com. If you watch my videos, you're probably thinking, man, this guy loves lights. Well, let me tell you why. They stand out. They're great decorations. When you turn them on, they really draw attention to them and they look good. So that's why I have this one right here, which is my lithophane light box. And this one up here, which is a lampshade of Christmas pictures. And over here, I have another lampshade of a maternity shoot. And everyone just thinks they're awesome. Well, I found another light that is so awesome, I just had to print it. I mean, you see something beautiful like that on Thingiverse, and you just have to grab it, print it, have it for yourself. So this video is about me making that light, and it looks great. You should make one of your own. Let me show you how I did it. So here's a super cool artichoke lampshade that you can get on Thingiverse. And it was made by G Create. It's very nice. Uh, it's thing number one million fifteen thousand one hundred seventy-eight. So the first thing you got to do, obviously, is you have to download the STL files. So I have the STL files. I'm going to extract them into a folder so that I can drag them into Cura. Now it's in Cura. I'm just going to take a look around and see what it looks like. Think about its printability, it's got a lot of bridging, so I'm probably going to need to print slowly and uh, have a lot of cooling on in order for this to work. There are a lot of really small pieces in there. You can see that the creator of this actually gives the same advice. He says, high cooling, slow speed. I'm going to use 20% infill because I don't think you need to have 40%, and I want to save a little bit of filament and time. So I ended up having a move speed of 40 millimeters per second, a fan speed of 100%, and a layer height of 0.3 millimeters to speed things up. And even with those thick layers, the print time is about a day, 16 hours, and 40 minutes. And you can see that it's going to take about 430 grams to print this. Now I'm going to save that to a folder, and I'm going to upload that to my OctoPrint. I like OctoPrint because I can monitor the print from anywhere in the house and I have kids so it's not easy to just sit there and watch the print. I've got to be all over the place and also OctoPrint lets me make cool time lapses so let me show you how I do that. The total print time is about 36 hours. There are 3,600 seconds per hour. So 3,600 times 36 is the total number of seconds that I have, and I divide that by the total number of frames to get my snapshot interval, which turns out to be about 108 seconds. So I start the print, and over here on the control panel, I can watch it print. Right now it's just heating up. So over here you can see the temperatures. It shows the set point in the light red, and then the actual measured temperature in the red so right now it's just heating up the nozzle then it'll heat up the bed and then it'll print Now it's time to assemble. Here you can see the lampshade. And then of course I have a cabled light socket, which I'll provide a link to below. If you're gonna hang it from a hook, the first thing you wanna do is just tie a knot. This knot will give you a strong point, and then you just pull everything through the hole. Hopefully I don't have a tangle. Your knot might get caught on some things. And at this point, at least with my light bulb, it's kind of snug right here. But you can see that this is very compliant and it was fine for me to just pull it through. Go ahead and give me any questions you've got below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.